Okay, if you somehow hear me know that EUI system have stopped, the whole thing reset it. Let's see. Uh, however, let's just find out what's going on, if this thing is recording or not. Okay, EUI system reset it, but it looks like it's recording. Maybe it is, maybe not. Maybe I'm going to get screwed again. Uh, and the recording is not going to record. Uh, maybe it's not going to be readable. I'm going to show you in a little bit how that looks like. Who knows what's going to happen and for how many times I'm going to have to do till it's going to be done. But somehow I'm going to manage to eventually record this time. The word is going to be something related to the Belarus. Wow, this is actually more filthy than Belarus. Uh, but I'm not surprised. We do have here well, so many Russian families that uh, I wouldn't be surprised about it. Uh, and well... It's not really a Russian issue, it's a Polish too. It's really Polish state that accommodated them, uh, that have compelled me in accommodation with them. And so, um, you know, even the latest actions from the Polish state suggest that, you know, beyond bizarre, beyond uh, strange type of uh, attitude toward me for complaining against Russia and Serbia and Slovenia. Um, well, in Belarus in 2017, as you know, uh, Ruskis have installed themselves a key loggers on my computer, Android, and stuff like that. You know, the KGB progressed uh, from stealing writings, works from people's pockets, uh, stalking them around. Uh, they are now resorting themselves to uh, electronical devices, electronic equipment from the West, thanks to the West. They don't have to uh, steal it from your pocket anymore. Uh, as well as mine with the key loggers, you were able to see they were done to me in Belarus. They can just go and they can read whatever you uh, type, uh, whatever you write uh, on your computer or um, Android, whatever device you have. Now, this thing here, I see it's even more diabolical. I just detected this thing. Uh, I did install two antivirus programs today. And I realized that there's some really insane stuff they have installed themselves uh, on my tablet after destroying me. No less than two Androids. Uh, one was even stolen since at a infrared camera on it uh, and destroyed laptop as well uh, it would disable preferably what they do this destroy little by little they engage and they try to create psychosis in an individual they want the individual to impersonate you know uh, on his gadgets on his electronic equipment you know they don't destroy this at once but they just Little by little, little by little. So they, what well, they want to literally in, uh, drive insane individual. This is the system they use. I mean, you got no idea what it means to tie your shoelaces every day because your loony inside of the room with whom you are is doing this on daily basis to you when you go to sleep. Uh, you got no idea when you all your bags where you keep electronic equipment stuff are destroyed everything is broken you have no idea what it means to get two bags a day uh, uh, for the trash uh, bring them upstairs uh, place them inside of your belongings uh, and uh, have them disappear on a daily basis basically you bring them and you bring them you bring them but you never have them really and stuff like this it's just really what you see here it's the same methodology the same thing look at what this thing is gonna do uh, what they did to me actually look at that it's called a system monitor or whatever uh, it's gonna go and it's gonna send information to the third party without the user's permission or even knowledge uh, more details uh, I'm sorry I already did click this now I don't need more details you can go and you can learn about for me this is diabolical enough it will go it will read your phone calls it will go and uh, get the remote numbers whoever called you whatever whatever ID it's gonna collect uh, it's gonna it's gonna go it's gonna it gives them the ability to delete your video your audio files your your whatever you write 
modify your your files, whatever you write, whatever whatever you do. You see, I don't even have to go to the library to screw my shit on on an Android, on a tablet, on a computer, uh, on my own computer before I even upload one to the internet. They can do it right here from the comfort of their rooms. Isn't that great? Isn't that a beautiful thing? Look at that. Um, they get all kinds of information, whatever you upload it to your Android tablet. Uh, and also, I know that they get the idea, whatever movies, new photos you have taken, they are immediately updated. They know exactly what photo have you taken, where, and so on. They know more about the stuff than you do, what you do. They are more more updated than what you do, what needs to be deleted and so on. A lot of stuff was deleted from my Androids, from my tablet. Look at that. Full uh, network access. Uh, you get to, They get to see who you connect, where you connect, basically where you have been, what. The best one, now it's not as good as Keylogger, but this one here is nasty. Hey man, uh, imagine to have 500 megabytes, uh, one gigabyte file, and you try to upload one to the internet at two megabyte speed. Uh, you know, the issues I have used uh, for videos were really, really unpleasant. Now think about it like this, it's some monkey over there in the room, KGB monkey is playing basically with your tablet, is watching how you are uploading it, and just when it comes to about 90% that is uploaded to the internet, 90-95%, uh, he goes and he resets your tablet. Uh, this did happen to me on I don't know how many occasions. Uh, it will it will drive you nuts. Okay, the same thing like with the shoelaces with. Uh, with other stuff, believe me, uh, stuff like this, when you add all the stuff I have talked about in this, wow, it's a lot, it's a lot. It's not one issue only, you know, it's it's all these issues parallel they do to you. Uh, look at this here, um, affects your battery, look, the battery, you, we're going to let you go sleep, your Android tablet, it will just prevent one from going to sleep, so your battery most likely is going to be depleted in the morning or whatever. Uh, modify your system settings happen to me all the time. Changing dates, changing me, uh, how the it fell asleep, the tablet, and so on. Uh, install the shortcuts of application to host screen without user intervention. Uh, so many times, I don't even know how to count. Look at that, uninstalled shortcuts. They have uninstalled me the programs, and something I have complained also. How they do it, they do it through the Wi-Fi, they do it through the Bluetooth, it's their convenience from their room right here, this place, is how they do it. Polish state lets them, allows them, not allows them, they accommodate them. Now look at this thing here, this was not the only thing, there was more to it, and I bet there is much more to it, it's not the only thing too. Uh, this is yet another program like this, and this is modified. It's it's a system program. Look at this. It's it literally is a system program. They have modified on demand scan. Look at that system application to do to do exactly the same thing. So, well, when I when I when I when I rate all this stuff that went on, um, you know. And when it comes to these people here, you know, like I said, these people are not only accommodated by the Polish state, these people were so helped by the Polish state. I mean, you have no idea when I bought this electronic gadget, this is already fourth one that is ruined. Um, you have no idea what it means. You know, when you said, let's say, I didn't even explain everything, but let's let's just say here, modify system settings, settings and stuff like that. You know what it is to have a keyboard, and you type, and you you press J letter, and you get A, and whatever letter you press, you get other letters or even words pop up. I mean, this is this is literally designed to to deprive you of your sanity. You know. The so-called Polish people here in this Grotniki, you know, the way they have brainwashed under MK Ultra, and then through the employment issues that have compelled me to go to these people. Wow, I'm not really sure which one was worse. When I got this tablet, 
well, basically equally bad, really. But when I got this stab, I just want to say, I didn't even dare, I was so traumatized, I didn't even dare to bring one here at this place. Because as soon as I would go to sleep, they were inside of my belongings. They destroyed everything. And so I knew that this would be the second thing. And they threatened on the culture. They're going to do, we're going to do this to you. So what I did was, I took to them, and I put over there these things at the storage. Well, you know what happened? They had my thing in this private home in their hands before I even got one, before I even turned one on. Look, when I turned one on for the first time, the battery would be like ready to completely deplete itself. It would just go and would just restart with vibration. Basically, have used the same issue like prior to that have destroyed me to telephones. They have just created out of the telephone charging like a mental issue that, that can drive individual completely insane. Think about it like this. Think about you spent at least six hours a day trying to charge the telephone. Just moving the cables back and forth because you're on a limited income from the Polish state like 18 euros per month 20 dollars per month and they're using this kind of issues to literally drive you insane they modify they go they get your telephone they get your androids and stuff and they'll go and they'll reduce the size of the cables or destroy your cables usb cables and stuff like this it's to completely drive you nuts then you go for the first time you get you, 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 you're traumatized, you don't want to bring this thing here, you turn one on and it starts to deplete itself before your eyes with vibration and stuff like this, like, you know, whatever they have done to it and so on. Uh, folks, um, I don't know whether you're an investor, whether you are, whatever you are, if you're in the West, uh, it would be uh, the most stupid thing, uh, unless it's a win-win uh, opportunity situation, to come here and do anything about it because you know Poland is a substate of the Russia this is nothing more than a substate um, Russia is a state Poland is like a substate uh, they talk about the USSR but they don't really mean it they what they are talking about is just an issue that is used to gain some kind of trust in you uh, if you are not familiarized with, if you don't know about it, uh, and so you would go and you would do maybe something really, really stupid. Like, for instance, they expected of me actually to go and complain to the third party about what's happening here in Poland to me by the immigration services alone, um, just by using European membership to literally engage in MK Ultra torture against me between 98 2006 and even afterwards I was brought here uh, to confuse me on timing and the loss itself of the European Union as such as you're not allowed to file for legal asylum in another country uh, if you're a member of another European Union state uh, to literally subject to a torture uh, on behalf of Russians. Basically, give Russians, buy Russian vacations here in Poland so they could come here and torture individual that is fighting for his survival, basically. This is what Poland really is. If this isn't sick, I don't know what the sick is. I supposed to get answer about four days ago on the 6th in respect to my work permit there was no work permit answer there was nothing to it there was no 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 second answer in respect to my my application which i have submitted to them uh because i had to reapply uh because i had to answer them on how I'm not uh, allowed to apply here since I'm from another EU state and so on. Uh, I have to write them an answer. I did. Uh, the answer more than satisfactory was turned down. Not that they would let me know immediately or anything like this, but when months and months and months till the work permit would be due to tell me basically, oh, well, you know, we turn you down again because 
uh, it's the European Union state that tells that, and they were even late with that kind of stuff. Even with this, they were late. Uh, and so what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go and apply for the whole thing over again and be jobless basically for another six months. And jobless translates here into radiation. It translates into the stuff I have talked about. Torture, basically. In addition to everything this country have done, uh, basically brought me here from the U.S., where today in the White House is individual married to a female, same age as I am, from the same city in Slovenia as I am, whose father, basically his father-in-law, is a registered KGB assassin. Uh, basically, Udba, Yugoslav secret police assassin, with a criminal record, basically, these people are today in the White House. So these are not conspiracies, you know, when you hear this Russian conspiracy, Russian plot. These are just the facts. Uh, and what's interesting about it is that his previous wife, his Czech wife, Ivana, it was the same situation with her. Her father and uh, uh, her father, uh, his ex-father-in-law, the same thing was a KGB assassin. We had a criminal KGB record from a Czech Republic and so on. But these are not conspiracies as much as negative. Uh, these things might sound. These are just a plain simple facts that people need to become aware of it. When it comes to Poland, Poland is just a pigeon is just a puppet state of the Russian state, um, you know, who doesn't have an interest to stand up on, on their own feet. They rather act like this, they rather act like awkward, like confused, like, you know, kind of a um, funny way, you know, unsure, but believe me, they know exactly what they're doing. And if you're stupid, if you're dumb, you're going to buy that bait and you're going to go, you're going to come here, you're going to invest in it. And the next thing that's going to happen is through that kind of uh, acting and so on, you're going to end up losing everything, just as the case was with historically throughout the Russia. This is always what the case was. It went from Tsar to Lenin, from I don't know what to Stalin and this and that and so on and so forth. They changed the system so they can steal because the country does not produce enough, needs the excuse to get help from the West. They get the help from the West under different kind of pretenses. Once they get the help, they always do the same thing like they have done historically. Uh, you know, and that pretty much the same applies right here to Poland, the same thing. Uh, the last thing I would want to go and do is now complain about what's happening to me in Poland uh, to some third party like United Nations, something like this, ask them for help, for assistance. Um, when the country alone is like way behind, uh, what they have here today is like what we had in Slovenia like 20 years ago. What they have here today, it's like in the U.S., like people run from here so much that it's unbelievable how much they immigrate. About 42% of the people can barely meet end of the month with the pay and stuff like that. Uh, and when you think about the stuff they have done to me, and that you would go and you would insist, you know, on staying in a country like this, my God, it must make them feel really good about it, that somebody wants to, for God's sake, everybody's running out, but somebody, somebody, they radiate him, they do all this stuff, poison him, and yeah, for the God's sake, he wants to go and fight with uh, United Nations to stay inside of the country like this. That is in, that's insane. Uh, you'd be better off going to uh, pretty much if you would be in North Korea or Iran, you would get a better treatment. That's one thing for sure. And if you would get a treatment like this and you go and complain that they try to make you damage, that you want to stay and you want to work and live decent, but they don't allow you to do this, Imagine how good it would it would feel really good over there. This uh, oppressive systems that there is somebody so crazy. Eventually, who wants to stay inside of the system under the circumstances even like this? Uh, this is just my take on the Poland. Uh, Ruskis here. What they do is 
they get a free accommodation here they get free food they get free apartments and on top of that they all work under the table uh, so they get extra income they all have cars they buy their own food from outside they live like a lords so we have we don't have a double standards here we have more than just a double standards these people live good here even much better than when compared to uh, polish people here they live in better circumstances from one extreme to the other folks uh that's all i gotta say uh for this video uh thanks for watching this is what a uh, political asylum looked like in poland where i filed on august the 6th 2018 uh, and it lasted like this all the way to, as you see today, is February the 10th, Sunday of 2019. Uh, I don't know how much longer this is going to go on my behalf because I'm 47. Uh, and the damage this country have done to me uh, with the help of this KGB criminal inside of the White House is just... Uh, it's it's difficult to even measure one but i guess i guess that this is how they do it they are merciless like this uh they are bloodthirsty here and they don't have any regrets you know, i was actually even told that how do i dare to even talk about the stuff mk ultra what was done to me here and so on when in fact the polish state gives me the food and lodging a place to stay and stuff like that Nothing to worry, I'm going to give you this 200 euros per month. Definitely, I'm going to return them back to the Polish state before I go from this world. Uh, but at the same time, I have decided to charge one. Just respectively, as Poland believed, I'm going to charge on their behalf other countries and bring the money here and get, well, uh, you know, accept, I guess, abuse as the way of life just accept it as new normal or something like that thanks for watching this video this was recorded in grotniki about 20 kilometers from the second biggest city in poland known as watch